That's that's excellent. Yes, but don't you believe that along with this culture today, the message, you know, um, sort of of the church is get rid of these burdens, you know, um, come accept Jesus and go to heaven. You know, and they, we've sort of made that the end to the mean, well, yeah. uh, the goal, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's the easiest thing to understand. And it is the message that carries with it the least amount of responsibility. Mm. <laughs> you can just tell someone where they're headed and get out of the way. Right. And, you know, and, and since I told you that truth, here's what I need you to do for me. Mm. <laughs> you know, whereas a father is all about being responsible for you until you can be responsible for yourself and others. Wow. It's completely different. That's, that's wonderful, Ernest. That's salvation by works when you just said that, you know, I'll show you where to go and then you have to come back and, you know, you got to pay for it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, pay your tithes and, <laughs> and do your dues, sign up for a ministry because I just showed you where to go. I got you into this thing. Now you got to pay me for it, okay? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's, that's what happens when we, you know, when we feel like we've got the keys to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if, mm -hmm. if we're not... Mm -hmm. If we're not spiritual fathers, we'll monetize this thing. Sure. Right? You know, and we'll charge for it mm -hmm. uh, in some way or another. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll wow. make sure it takes care of us. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it goes right back to the same thing, you know, s you know, provision and protection. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. soulish techniques, yeah. you know, trying to provide for yourself and trying to save yourself. Mm -hmm. Because there's just so many marketing schemes you know, now that I see and um, how we try to attract people to our buildings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I've seen some stuff out there that the church is doing is better than IBM. Sure. <laughs> sure. As far as my marketing schemes, mm -hmm. what happened to the day? Uh, let me just give you an example. I had a brother call me up and said, hey, it's this gentleman who guarantees me, guarantees me that he can allow my membership to increase f to three, more than 300 people within a year. <laughs> if I hear, you know, if he comes to the church and he does a seminar and with all the leaders, he's going to show us how to increase our membership by 300 within a year. He guarantees it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, of course, you know, you, you can get the money back. Mm -hmm. Well, I says, well, how much is this guarantee? $10,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I says, how many days is he going to stay with you guys? Is this like three months, four months? He says, no, 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 it's the weekend. <laughs> so I says, he's going to come on the weekend for $10,000 to show you how to grow your church 300 members in a year. My friend says, yeah. He says, what do you think about that? I says, I think it's absolutely asinine. That's what I think. Sure. That was my, my honest opinion. Yeah, I says, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah. Because I says, you know, whatever happened to the Holy Spirit adding to the church daily, such yes. as should be added. Yes. What happened to the Lord adding to the church? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about no local building either. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, don't you know, every day when we have the vision of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. that God is adding, you know, but we're so caught up into this quantity thing, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody just feel like, you know, they have that orphan mentality exactly. that my identity will be based upon how many people I have. Exactly. That is the thinking of the orphan, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. So, you know, one of the things that, that, that came to mind that I really, 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 um, I had an opportunity to just share this Sunday. I actually went to a fellowship in Atlanta and I shared the scripture in Jeremiah 16, 16, that, you know, first will come the fishermen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then the Lord says, will come hunters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was sharing with them that in fishing, you know, usually uh, Peter and those guys, they threw a net out. Mm -hmm. But even when they pulled in a bulk of fish, they had to go through this selective process mm -hmm. by which they put some aside. Yeah. And my admonition to the body there is God is not interested in quad, qua, you know, quantity. Right. He's interested in quality. Amen. You know, and if you're going to have some quality, you're going to have to go through a process and it's called discipleship. There you go. You know, that's what he's looking for. He's looking for the process. That's how he comes back for a bride who've made herself ready. Because I said, he's not coming back for a bride with rollers in her hair. 
That's right. He's coming back, you know, yeah, for you and that. I, but after we've gone through some type of process. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and a lot of saints, they were telling me how much they were suffering. And I said, you know, Jesus, lead, he learned obedience by the things he suffered. Mm -hmm. And I says, I just hope that when we suffer, we, we don't concentrate on the suffering as much as we concentrate on being obedient to the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man. I said some similar things at your congregation on Sunday. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Your daughter will tell you. Wow. But um, the thing that you just said about suffering, um, I talked about faith and patience. Mm. So the patience is where the suffering comes <laughs> <laughs> for people. Oh, Lord, when? But um, as I was considering these things, um, and I taught about that, not because I was just trying to throw together a message to share it with people. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord has taught me a lot about that yeah. recently. You guys know it took a very long time for me to fit, c complete the purchase of my home. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord was teaching me things about this subject matter. But as I was considering uh, talking about it, one thing the Lord said to me out of the blue and it was, it is not good that man should be alone. Mm. Now we, we hear that and immediately we think about marriage, you know. Right. But what the Lord was saying, I, even in that statement, what I heard and knew immediately was that when people are suffering, mm. when they are in, in, in uncertainty about things, it is terrible for you to be alone. Yes. Mm. If you have someone with you at those points showing you how to deal with the suffering, how to understand how faith will, will empower your patience. Right. You know, and all of these things, mm -hmm. you can withstand because the scripture says that we should be finding joy in the trial of our faith. Right. And through these sufferings and pains, we should be in joy. And, you know, that's not how most people think. Mm. But if you're alone, you certainly won't find any joy. Wow. But if you mm -hmm. have the spiritual father, one who's embodying love, you know, this part of the culture of the kingdom will be imparted to you that you can find joy in this. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is very good. Well said. You have something you want to say, John? No, that's... <laughs> that's that wraps it up for it you. Does, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. For Dyson and the King. Well, I, I, really feel, I really feel like the message of the, you know, um, sonship, you know, and fathering and being able to walk under the rule of Christ. Mm -hmm. I really feel like this is, you know, beginning to take hold in some people's heart. Amen. They're beginning to see this thing and beginning to see the family of God. Yes. And once again, beginning to also see signs and wonders in yes. their midst. Yes. And that's important. You know, that's important. So the church is gaining back its integrity and strength through this new season and revelation of the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you for sharing, man. Thank, Thank you, you for coming and sharing your heart and, uh, and explaining more about God's culture and the God's kingdom. Well, I'm Dana Thompson. Thank you for watching today's uh, broadcast. If you would like to, um, you know, write us, uh, we would like to hear from you. If you're going through some suffering right now and you're going through it alone, why don't you just contact us some way so that we can be an encouragement to you. And also, if you're feeling like, you know, it's time for me to really know who I am in Christ so that I can begin to function in the family of God properly, send us an email or write us after the program. Thank you for watching today.